Hi you guys. Okay, so today I'm coming to you with a topic that um, was one of the first questions that I received, but I was holding off on answering it because they're just, it's a very, very um, touchy topic. Um, the question is, why do men cheat? Why do men cheat? Um, okay, so I found a statistic today that said that 60% of men cheat, okay? 60, six, zero. And 70% of wives have no idea. So it's no wonder that 50% of marriages end in divorce. This is why. Um, wow, what can I say? Why do men cheat? Okay. Um, I think that the number one reason is because they want variety. They get bored with what's at home and they see some pretty young thing walking by and it's like, hey, I wonder if I could go explore that. <laughs> and a lot of them try and a lot of them do. And um, it's unfortunate, but I think that that's the number one reason that men cheat because they are bored at home. They're bored with their wives and they just want to try something new. So yeah. Um, for men, sex does not equal love. That is hard to say because for women, for most women, sex equals love. It's like, oh, okay, I would never have sex with you unless I was in love with you. But for men, that's not the case. It's like, you know, <laughs> I don't want to say that they'll <laughs> do it to anything walking, but damn near. <laughs> A lot of men don't really care, you know, what the relationship is between them and a woman when they sleep together. It doesn't matter if it's someone they just met or someone they've known for years. It just, to them, sex is just a physical thing. There's no emotional attachment. It's not a heart thing for them. It's just a physical pleasure thing. So yeah, that's another reason. Um, for the thrill of getting caught, <laughs> um, sex is more exciting when there's some type of danger element to it. And unfortunately, that danger would be uh, your mate catching you. But for a lot of men, this makes it more exciting. Um, it's just more excitement equals more pleasure. So there you go. Um, your wife is turning you down at home. Wow, okay. This might hurt some feelings, <laughs> but um, your wife is turning you down at home, so you go out and explore other options. I know a lot of men personally who have done this, um, you know, friends, family members, uh, co-workers who have done this because they're not getting what they want at home. Are they justified? No, I'm not saying that. But at the same time, what do you expect? If you married him and, you know, said that you were going to be his and then when he wants it, you're saying, no, you're tired, you're this, you're that. You can only expect that he's going to go out and try to pursue other options, you know, so it is what it is. I'm not saying that they're justified in doing that. Because I understand ladies, you know, keeping the house clean, keeping the kids in order, working a full-time job, going to school full-time, all of these things are important. Don't get me wrong. But satisfying your husband is top priority, okay? You wanted to be married, you're married, you got a husband, now he comes first. Period. Next. Next, 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 next. Okay. Being unhappy with your mate. Okay. Um, and under that, I wrote, letting yourself go. <laughs> oh, don't let yourself go, ladies. <laughs> Please don't let yourself go. 
I don't care how many kids you've had. <laughs> don't let yourself go. Uh, keep your hair looking nice. Keep your makeup done. Uh, stay dressed nice. Uh, stay fit. Please stay fit. Very important. Um, if you were size 6 when he married you, you should not be a size 26 five years later or even 10 years later. You know, I understand that there are special circumstances. Please don't get me wrong. Please don't send me hate mail. I'm just being honest. If you were a size 6 when he met you, you should not be a size 26. I don't care how many years later, unless there are some type of special circumstances, okay? So, stay fit. You know, if it means going to the gym, if it means eating right, if it means, you know, he's eating steak and you're eating salad, I'm sorry. But... You know, stay fit. Stay looking nice for your man. Because when you don't look nice for your man, you better believe that there's a chick out there who will look nice for your man. So, you know, I hate to put it that way, but um, a lot of women do not care whether or not a man is married. Sad to say. They will go after your man, knowing full well that he's married and he's got God knows how many kids at home and a wife. They don't care. They don't care. They're willing to do for your man what you're not willing to do. So keep that in mind whenever you think to yourself, oh God, I'm so tired. I have three kids and I just put them all to bed. Okay, so what? Get out of that mindset. That's over their sleep. Now it was time to be wifey, okay? <laughs> so yeah, don't let yourself go, ladies. Nagging and argumentative, okay. Nobody wants to come home to that. I don't care who you are. I don't care how fine you are. I don't care how much money you have. Nobody wants to come home and hear this. I don't even want to come home and hear this. And I'm a woman. You know, I do this. Um, I don't want to come home and hear that. My husband doesn't want to come home and hear that. No man out there wants to hear that. Um, they want to come home and be at peace. You know, I may sound like 50s wife. I don't care if I sound like 50s wife. It's true. No man wants to come home to a wife who's going to be talking and moaning and, and nagging and maybe moaning. <laughs> maybe moaning. <laughs> but what I meant was, you know, nobody wants to come home to nagging. Nobody wants to come home to complaints. Because then it's like, dang, I should have just stayed at work. What's the point? You know, if I want to get fussed at, yelled out, chewed out, yelled at, chewed out, I could have stayed at work. So yeah. Um, a lot of times it's easier to cheat than to fix your relationship. And that's the sad truth behind it. And I know a lot of men out there don't want to do the work that it takes to keep a relationship, you know, in a healthy state. And so they go out there and cheat. I mean, it's real easy to cheat and and um, come home to your wife because it's like, hey, cheating is cheating is easy when you have a woman out there who's just fun and games. You know, there's there's no talk of finances. There's no talk of running a household. There's no complaint of all the things that I didn't do. It's just fun. It's just sex. Why would a man not cheat if when he comes home? He's welcomed with complaints, arguments, um, problems, stress. You know, you got to do the math. You basically just have to realize that coming home should be the highlight of a man's day. I sound so... <laughs> I went from 50s to 30s <laughs> in 0 0.6 seconds. Anyway, this is how I feel, okay? man wants to come home to a happy home. A woman wants to come home to a happy home. Hey, women, hey, we're out there working these days too, so let me not leave you out, ladies. Um, everyone wants to come home to peace, you know? You want to come home to tension and arguments and all that stuff. So make your house an atmosphere that is welcoming, and then you won't really have to worry about you. You know, some men, it's just in them to cheat. It's just, 
the thrill of the hunt. Let me see how many women I can sleep with. Let me see if I can get away with it. Let's see if my wife will uh, put up with it and take me back repeatedly. And a lot of women do, and they have their own reasons behind that. That's just that's a whole other topic. I don't even want to get on that right now. We'll save that for another video. But basically, what I just wanted to say is, you know, make your atmosphere welcoming. Pretty much, you know. Keep yourself looking nice. I know it's hard. I know all your clothes have, you know, spit up and and <laughs> holes in them and <laughs> there's all kinds of things going on with moms, stay-at-home moms, or even working moms. You're you're tired, you've worked a double shift, or you've worked your 40 hours and your husband still expects you to come home and work another 40 hours taking care of the house and the kids and him i know it's hard ladies i know but you know still keep yourself up because you would hate to lose your man to some woman who's willing to put forth the effort that you're not so yeah that's my two cents